Hey and welcome to the Polymaker Pumpkin Polishing Painting Tutorial. This is a fun little project with great results. Using just five acrylic colours, a poly smooth, a polisher and an airbrush, you can create a realistic looking spooky pumpkin in only a couple of hours. Once your pumpkin print is finished, you can go about removing the support from the model. Here I'm using some pliers to pull the majority of the support out. Much like gutting a real pumpkin of its seeds and its flesh, so does the printed pumpkin need its support removing. After removing the support, take a craft knife to clean up any edges so they are sharp and crisp. Within the Thing files on Thingiverse, you will find a small polishing stand. This is essential to get a complete polish on the pumpkin. Print the stand in any material other than PolySmooth, as you don't want to weld the stand to the pumpkin. Just elevate the pumpkin from the platform. Here I used Polymax PLA, which worked out great. You can then place your pumpkin upside down on the polisher platform and lower the gantry. It's important to polish the underside first, as you will need to attach the stalk afterwards when you polish the pumpkin right side up. You will need to give the pumpkin quite a heavy polishing to fully remove all the support scars. I recommend doing two cycles of 25 minutes with a 10 minute break in between. The reason for the break is to lower the chance of getting any runs in the IPA PolySmooth slurry. I find this also produces better results in terms of surface quality. After the first cycle you can remove the platform and allow the pumpkin to dry for an hour. After one hour you can flip the pumpkin, attach the stalk using some IPA as a welding agent and then resubmerge the full pumpkin back into the polisher and repeat the same polishing cycle as you did with the underside. If you are looking to learn some new painting techniques and want to give your 3D printed parts that finished look, the airbrush is one of the best tools available for finishing your prints. That being said, the polisher does all the hard work smoothing the layers and preparing the surface for the paint, leaving you with the fun part of applying the paint. Now you have a perfectly smooth, layer-free pumpkin. You'll need to allow the model to sit for 24 hours to let the surface fully harden and also to allow any absorbed IPA to evaporate away. You can then start painting the surface. PolySmooth takes paint very well. In this tutorial, I'll be using acrylic paints because they're cheap and safe, but PolySmooth will take any kind of paint from cellulose to aerosol, 1K, 2K, oil and acrylic. It really creates the perfect surface for post-processing. -post First, mix up some bright orange with some water until you have a runny mix. The fine needle on the airbrush won't allow a thick paint to pass through. To test the viscosity of the paint, dip a stick in the paint and briefly lift it out. The paint should drip from the stick, not run in a single stream. The turning point from running to dripping is the ideal viscosity for the paint. If it's too thick, add more water. If it's too thin, add more paint. You can now start to paint the pumpkin with your base coat. Don't worry if it's a little uneven, that will actually help with the highlights and lowlights. Ideally, we want to always work from light to dark, so getting a nice light base coat of orange all over will set you up for the highlights and shadows in the following coats. In four cups, you can now start mixing your highlight and shadow colours. I'm using Viridian Green, Sap Green, Deep Yellow, Yellow Ochre and Burnt Umber. Add a small amount of Burnt Umber to your original orange mix for the shadow lowlights. Now start with some yellowish highlights on the stalk and on the high sections around the pumpkin. Try and pass the airbrush from top to bottom in a striped motion to recreate a realistic pumpkin. You can download the pumpkin model from the link in the description below. I would recommend printing with free shells at 0.2mm layer height and a 20% infill. You will need to enable support for this model and you can use the default PLA support settings for this. If you'd like to delve deeper into the settings, then make sure you enable dense support layers on top of your support and, su and set your support angle threshold to 45 degrees. The dense layers will leave the best surface on your model once the support has been removed. Following on from the highlights, you can start to build some darker oranges and greens into the crevasses around the pumpkin. This is the darkest section of the pumpkin and these darker colours will give good contrast to your model. I've chosen to hand paint the stalk at first with a paintbrush and some dark green colours. You can use a heat gun or a hairdryer to speed up the drying process. The paint will look glossy at first, but when it dries it will have a matte satin finish. This will give the pumpkin the waxy shine that they naturally have. 
In two sections here I've smudged a bit of the wet paint. I think I'll add a little scar onto the pumpkin with some brown and then airbrush over the top with some more orange. This should help cover my mistakes and add another dimension to the pumpkin. To highlight the scary face on the pumpkin, I'm taking some of the darker tones and airbrushing around the features to make them pop out of the pumpkin. Finally, just a light airbrush on top of the hand painted stalk with some dark browns and greens to blend the whole pumpkin together. I hope you found this tutorial instructive. This is a nice project for beginners wanting to learn how to use an airbrush and how to finish polysmooth prints in the polisher. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know if you found this useful. Happy Halloween! <laughs>